Ah, Spider-Man's identity has been exposed by Mysterio. Oh no. Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I love finding affordable ways to DIY a variety of things. Money can't buy everything, except maybe figures. I love collecting figures and recreating iconic scenes. Every figure deserves to shine on my display. So every week I ask myself the same question, and answer it by creating something I'm proud of. Join my weekly adventure by subscribing to my channel. Leave your feedback and suggestions down below. I often get inspired by your comments, and I hope I can inspire you too. Last week, I recreated the tower bridge scene from Far From Home, giving Mysterio and his drones a stage to shine on. Check that video out if you haven't already. Spider-Man month continues, so I fixed the MCU Spider-Man Homecoming figure a couple of weeks ago, and then I fixed the Far From Home Spider-Man figure. So today, I'm going to fix the integrated suit from No Way Home. This suit looks pretty good. Okay fine, I don't have the integrated suit figure. Almost fooled you. This figure seems to be sold out everywhere. Okay, I also hesitated at first because the packaging for this figure looks so basic, and I was afraid that they were going to release another figure with better features. <coughs> Iron Spider. Anyway, after watching the movie, I do plan on getting the figure. I usually get the main Spider-Man figure and try to keep it to one Spider-Man figure per movie, but I don't want to forget about this one. The Far From Home suit is probably still my favorite MCU Spider-Man suit. Let me integrate it to my Far From Home Mysterio display with all the drones. In fact, I want to combine my Homecoming and Far From Home display into one, because I need to save some shelf space. And I think it would be really interesting to have a collage diorama in the display shelf. The one thing the two scenes have in common is that they both take place above water. So I think having water as a base can merge the two in a more fascinating way. So. Can I make it? For the base, I'm going to build it on top of this styrofoam. I measured my shelf beforehand, and this is the maximum size that will fit. Now I haven't made water before, so I did some research. And I found out that I already have everything I need. And best of all, I've already done something very similar. Just like how I did the Vormir and Lamentis displays, all I need is some white glue and toilet paper. The idea is to create and shape water ripples with the toilet paper. But first, I'm going to paint over it. Since I've never made water before, I'm going to play around the colors and see what works. I'm going to create a gradient using three very different colors. If this works, then I'll know how to make a beach next. It'll be fine too if it doesn't work. With all the figures on the display, the water will be the last thing you'll look at. I ended up adding a bit of blue to add more depth to the colors. Capturing the way water looks is not easy at all. It's never pure blue and has to reflect and refract light properly. So let's hope it looks more realistic after I apply the glossy varnish. Mm, it's alright. I think a few more coats of varnish will help. Okay, here it is after many many coats of varnish. It looks pretty good. I also painted the edges black so they aren't distracting. Alright, let's put the far from home Mysterio diorama on it. Hmm, that took up a lot of room. Let's see if I can still fit Vulture on it. Oof, I forgot how tall this piece is. Let's squeeze Spider-Man and his webs in next. And one half of the fairy. Spider-Man was not able to save the other half, unfortunately. And here's Spidey from Far From Home. And I'm gonna balance him on the drones. There are a few blink and you'll miss moments where Spider-Man does some acrobatic moves and bounces off the drones. If I slow down the footage, you'll see it. Right there. Right there. I remember seeing the theater and thought it was really cool. He was just bouncing off from one drone to another gracefully. So I think it makes sense for me to have him balancing on the drones too. It makes it look like he's having fun while in the battle. He's just a teenager after all. Mm, it's not perfect, but I like how random and chaotic this far from homecoming display looks especially with the inclusion of this Spider-Man. He adds his goofiness to the display, lighting up the mood the way Spider-Man does all the time. What do you think? Do you like this fusion diorama? There's no room to include the No Way Home figures, which is perfectly fine. I think No Way Home deserves its own diorama. Speaking of No Way Home, the movie is all about Spider-Man's identity. 
This video was originally going to be about No Way Home. I may not have the figures, but I do have a Peter Parker head from the Iron Spider figure. When I first saw it, I thought it looked really good. I thought it captured Tom Holland's likeness quite well, especially the eyes and mouth. But maybe it's the hair. Over time, I thought this looked less and less like him. But why? So let's see if I can fix that. Let's, let's deconstruct, deconstruct this, this figure. figure. I'm gonna ignore his hairstyle, because that's something I can't really change. The first thing that stood out to me were his eyebrows. On the figure, his brows are very arched, but in almost all the photos I looked at, he has pretty straight eyebrows. I do love that they included Tom's signature flying left brow though. <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to adjust are the colors. His skin has more of a pink undertone than yellow, and his pupils are more of a darker brown. I actually think that the colors being slightly off is what makes it look untom-like. That's my analysis. It doesn't mean this figure isn't great. I just wanted to make it even better. So, can I make it? Alright, here's the unpainted head. It's honestly pretty good, but that hair seriously isn't helping. Let's start with the skin. I always paint over the skin because the skin color is usually off, but I don't blame Hasbro because these are toys after all. They are meant to be collected by adult collectors and played with by children. Marvel Legends figures are meant to be somewhat affordable. Somewhat. They need to be able to survive aggressive playtime. I remember doing that when I was a kid. Anyway, so unless the figure looks unfinished or completely not screen accurate, I generally don't have actual issues with them. And if I'm able to improve them, it's even better. Okay. I need to do his eyebrows and pupils off screen. I need to hold it right in front of my eyes and stop breathing to minimize the shakiness of my hand. Okay, now I'm dyeing his hair. Maybe because I was staring at his hair up close. I noticed that his hair has a pinkish tone to it. That makes the yellowness of his face more noticeable. So I'm gonna go over his hair with a darker brown. The overall color tone of the head should shift accordingly. Okay, here's the finished head. I personally loved what I've done. I didn't do anything drastic, only subtle color changes. But I think it brings out Tom Holland's likeness so much more. That profile though still looks very strange. <laughs> the original just looks weird to me now. Before I pop this back on, I actually have another Peter Parker head. Uh, They got the hair right. This reminds me of those creepy AI robots pretending to be human. I'm gonna try to do the same thing here, adjusting his skin tone, and I'm gonna try to enlarge his eyes too, and paint over the hair. Here it is all painted. Mmm, I don't know, it still looks strange. But I wonder... Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, he looks like a baby. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Let's erase this memory by putting the other Peter Parker head on. Oh, now this head looks tiny. Let's take a closer look. Ah, that's better. It looks quite believable and very lifelike. It doesn't look exactly like Tom, but I'm digging how natural everything looks. What do you think? Let me know down below. Let's take some photos. Whoa, I was not expecting to look this good in photos. It doesn't look like a children's toy anymore. I can totally see Tom Holland here. And with the right angles, his hair doesn't bother me at all. It's crazy how different the figure feels with the right colors. If you tell me this figure costs a fortune, I'll believe you. Oh, never mind. He got that giraffe syndrome going on. Actually, I have this issue too. I also have a long skinny neck so I can relate. Anyway, this may be my favorite repainted head now. There is this softness that makes it so lifelike. Is it his expression? He just feels like a real human. Let's see how this looks on my far from home display. Ooh, I like it. It goes with the whole Mysterio exposing Spider-Man's identity theme really well. Even though it's not screen accurate. Peter is just casually balancing on the drones. 
probably because he got his Peter Tingles back. That's why he's not afraid at all. The inclusion of Spider-Man brings out a totally different dynamic between him and Mysterio. It almost looks like Mysterio is trying to catch him. Now let's combine this Far From Home display with my Homecoming one. And see how it looks in my display shelf. Ooh, I prefer using the Peter Parker head for my display. His face just stands out so much more, especially with everyone else in the background. Peter Parker is the only face in my diorama, making him the highlight of the display. This is a Spider Man diorama after all. Peter should have the spotlight. What do you think? Do you like this combined diorama in my shelf? The water doesn't bother me, and I think it ties the two together quite well. Ideally, I would separate them, but I really need to think about how I'm displaying my figures. There's only so much room left. I think this works. There's so much going on in this combined diorama, it kind of feels like a comic cover, where there's 2,000 things going on and it's very dramatic. Anyway, I think this is it for Spider Man Month, unless I get my hands on the integrated suit. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe to see more Marvel Legends related videos. Stay inspired and I'll see you soon. I can make it, so can you.